There's a guy there, and his name, he was the expert on the Sound of Silence, and he, he was part of the team that, that I was, um, how do you say, gaining more information f about the Sound from, and his name was Walter Bishop. Fringe didn't come to mind until I looked it up. I read an article about the Allende meteorite that, that fell in the zone of silence and then I started to, to read more about what happens in the zone of silence. I'm from Mexico and I've never heard the play, about the place, you know, and so it was just full of incredibly interesting details and, uh, and I thought it would have great potential to, to be a concept of a story, you know, of a film. It was definitely reading the script and a combination between all of these genres. Thriller, sci-fi, mm -hmm. drama. So that was, it was like a perfect mix um, and, and a great exploration of emotions. And that was definitely the first thing that attracted me to the project. And obviously on top of that, uh, directed by Lorena, going to Mexico with an international cast. It was just, I just thought, I can't, I have to do this. Yes, well, I think um, it happens more often now than before that you see um, content out there that has both uh, uh, either either in series or in, uh, in television or in or in films. It's more common now to have two languages um, uh, combined together. And I thought uh, this happens in my day, everyday life, you know, and what happens, uh, people coming over here, they have to, maybe the next generations um, maybe their first language now is English, but the but then the rest of the family is their original language. Their uh, you know what they speak, so they speak both, and it's seamless, no. And uh, and so in this case, the story was a foreigner going to Mexico, and I thought it would be interesting for them how would they adapt and how would it work, you know. And maybe the same happens as in the rest of the world. <laughs> yeah, and it's happening more and more. I mean, and people, it's just I think that's amazing. Everyone getting you know, everyone's from everywhere. Mm -hmm. everyone Everyone speaks so many different languages, and that's just um, that's great. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. It's the future, also. It was <laughs> <laughs> because there were so specific. I, I mean, how does the stone work? You know, what are the rules? I had to have. I like had like a little manifesto. Okay, so these are the rules. You know, these are the time frames and everything. Would it work or not? I mean, because it's, it's a complicated issue, you know, you're, you're talking about it and it has all those rules and for it to work and then for us not to mess it up while we're uh, telling it, no? So that we don't go outside that, yes. so, but it was. It was actually when I went to the Zone of Silence, there was a guy there and his name, he was the expert on the Zone of Silence and he, he was part of the team that, that I was, um, how do you say, gaining more information f about the Zone from and his name was Walter Bishop. Huh? Get out. <laughs> no, really. And I'm like, but first I didn't, it, uh, how do you say, it, French didn't come to mind until I looked it up, you know, because it, I was like, uh, Walter Bishop yeah. is not an, uh, um, an easy name to, uh, do you know, uh, it's not a common name in Mexico, one. Two, uh, it's, uh, it, it sounded very, very familiar, and once I just looked it up and I'm like, no way, I mean, this is meant to be, because, <laughs> you know, and this guy, he was like an older guy himself, you know, and, 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 and the, he was like the personification of an expert of the zone of silence yeah. without being all the scientific stuff, you know, but he, he, he had half of it, no? So I thought I took it as a sign. 